Don't worry, money won't be important in the future. If you really want to know how the future of money looks like, stick around. I recently watched a video from Ken Honda who is a best-selling author selling over 8 million copies around the world talking about the future of money. What he said was very interesting and brought me hope to the future. In this video, I'd like to talk about three points. 1. What does money mean to us now? 2. What will money look like in the future? 3. What kind of world will we be living in? The world is crazy out there due to coronavirus. Everything surrounding us is covered with fear. Fear of health, fear of losing money, fear of losing a job, anxiety of our family, and anxiety of the future. This pandemic is hitting us like a hurricane and hurting all these important areas in our life simultaneously. We need to tackle these issues separately and carefully by staying calm. If you and your family are under 60, the majority of your anxiety might be fear of losing money in your job. Concerns like, will I have enough money to raise my family? Will I be able to keep my job? This is deep and terrifying. And these things are sometimes out of our control. Never blame yourself if anything goes wrong. It's not your fault. There is nothing to be ashamed of because the world we're living in is crazy and not you. Let me explain. I think we all agree that money is crucial in our modern life. It might not be the most important thing, but one of your top three. And in order to earn money, you need to get a job. The society is forcing you to work hard to live a normal life. He who does not work, neither shall he eat. There is only a handful of people who have a job that they love. Most of us go to work because we have to, for the money. Money is so powerful that it can literally control our life. People commit suicide because of going bankruptcy or losing a job. Money can turn into such negative power depending on how you deal with it. Here's the positive news. Ken Hanna was saying that money will turn into something that we don't think about that much on a daily basis. Just like water or electricity. You don't pay attention on how much electricity you're using every day, right? Of course, we can't live without it because it's connected to our survivals. But money will become less important. The development of AI and technology will release us from the jobs we hate. We will delegate our jobs, not necessarily lose our jobs to AI. Productivity will increase and costs will go down. Governments will provide basic income to compensate this. This means people will not be forced to go to work and still have enough income to live a decent life. You won't have to earn money if you don't want to. You won't have to get a new job if you don't want to. You don't believe me? I mean, even now, do you need to buy a $200 jeans? You can buy good quality jeans for $20, right? The function is not much of a difference. Same thing with wristwatches or anything. Most of the things we can already buy at a low price if we don't ask for too much options. In the near future, some kind of microchip will be put into our bodies having the information of your bank accounts or mileage. You won't need a wallet or smartphone to buy something at the shops. You just grab what you want and when you go out of the shop, the points will be reduced from your account automatically. Having this system, money will not be something that we think about or worry about every single day. Only for those who want to buy expensive things would want to increase money or their mileage. For people who have just enough money to buy food and granted a house, they will no longer care of buying expensive things. They won't get depressed of not having enough things either because that has nothing to do with their survivals. You won't have to borrow loads of money from the bank living in debt to buy a house or a car. Values will diversify. Money won't be the single thing that measures a successful person or a successful life. When people are secure to have enough food to eat, to have a place to live, there is no reason of getting a job or earning more money. Isn't that quite amazing? You don't have to go to work and get yelled at your boss anymore. You won't have to feel depressed on Monday mornings. If you want to be lazy at home playing video games all day long, that's okay. If you have ambitions in gaming, you might want to increase your gaming points. For gamers, increasing those points might mean the world to them. Same thing with sports. Baseball points, basketball points, soccer points, and so on. Fashion points, teaching points, cooking points. People will start doing what they love. Focusing on increasing the points they care of. Kind of like self-development. But you can always choose not doing anything at all. The world will be divided into two types. People who want to improve and do what they love adding value to the world. And the people who aren't interested in hustling and just want to live a decent life. No right or wrong. The more you think about it, 
Maybe this crisis we're going through right now is teaching us something or something that we need to overcome in order to get to the place where we're not controlled by money. Although on the way it will pull out all our negative emotions like fear and anxiety and also losing the people we love. The pain and suffer we power through will give birth to a new world. Having said that, I'm starting to believe in a positive future. And the way to be prepared is finding what you love. In fact, this rule hasn't changed at all. Think about it. In the world of competition and comparing with each other, can you outrace someone who loves what they're doing when you're not? When I was young, I was always thinking of how to become a regular starting player in a sports club, competing with my friends and people around me all the time. It's quite exhausting because there's no time to rest. I mean, competing with someone else is meaningless. Competing with the yesterday version of yourself only makes sense to live a happy life. Back to doing what you love. Doing what you love will be the key differentiator for living a fulfilled life now and in the future. Doing what you hate just for survival or to earn money is going to be out of date. People will be more aware of why we're put on this earth. Finding what they love doing and polishing those talents. If you want to find your purpose in life, go click on the video right here. I'm positive the world will be a better place. Let's hang on and overcome this challenge. I believe every hardship falls upon us for only one reason. To make you a better person. Wait and see for the rainbow. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, hi, my name is Joey and this channel is all about self-development tips to change your mindset and change your life. So if this sounds good to you, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.